So Dave, Chief Financial Officer of the city has placed you sort of on the hot seat in recent weeks with a lot of angry residents, people upset about over-assessments that led to $600 million in higher tax bills after the, the Great Recession when you know property values fell so steeply. A lot of people are expecting or demanding a rebate. What relief can you provide those taxpayers? I would start with, on the $600 million, this is something that anybody who lived in the city or was around the city knew mm -hmm. was an issue. And it was one of the first things we tried to address, and we addressed it very aggressively in 2014 by cutting the assessments, and we think yeah. getting back to where the market value was. Um, to answer that question, I, I understand the anger, I understand how I'm on the hot seat. People were wronged by the city, mm -hmm. but people were wronged by the city going into bankruptcy in a number of ways. Yeah. Retirees gave $5 billion so that the city could exit bankruptcy. People's street lights weren't on, people's buses weren't showing up, and all of that is what culminated in the bankruptcy. And coming out of the bankruptcy, um, the city has tried to put in place something, various departments, mechanisms, so that this type of thing would not happen again. So I think we've addressed that on, on, on a going forward basis. Mm -hmm. The next thing we have spent our time doing is trying to make sure people can stay in their homes. So every year we have enacted new legislation and new policies to drive the foreclosure numbers down, the owner-occupied foreclosure numbers down to zero. Um, and that's something we're going to continue to do, and we just got uh, legislation through and signed by the governor to allow us to help the 11,000 yeah. people that are currently in payment plans. When it comes to repaying people, though, mm -hmm. we have to remember this is money that was paid to our teachers. This was money that was paid to our firefighters and our police officers, and we can't get it back from them. And so you don't have $600 million laying around, no, right? No, we don't have $600 million. So the only way you get money as a government is to tax Connects. people for that money. And if we levy a $600 million tax, it's mm -hmm. going to destabilize the entire um, economy of Detroit and force so many people mm -hmm. back into foreclosure. So that's really not an option. What we've been looking at is, are there existing programs that we can put people who owned homes during that time to the front of the line of? We have uh, aggressive home repair programs where we help people who need to have just one or yeah. two repairs done on their home. Can we move the individuals that own property during that time to the front of the line? Okay, Can we put them to the front of the line for city jobs or other things of that sort? But they, bottom line, people aren't going to get a check. They're not going to get a rebate check. There, there, there just isn't resources to do that. So let me ask you this. You talk about assessments. I, yeah. The mayor has said the assessments are where they should be now. What about tax rates? The rates in Detroit are higher than any place else in the in Metro Detroit. Is it possible to cut property tax rates or even cut the property tax out altogether to help spur growth, to help keep people in their homes? So the property tax structure in the city is an impediment. It's why we have abatements. It's why we have mm -hmm. uh, NEZs, which is a tax abatement for homeowners that goes across 20 or 15% of the city. Um, it is a problem and it's something we need to look at. But we have to keep in mind, this is not just a city issue. Our property taxes are only about a third of the total tax bill that a resident gets. It is the schools, it is the library, it is the yeah. county. And we do need to look at structural reform and what that can mean. I do agree with you that we're gonna continue to have to come up with patchwork solutions to this problem until we address the actual problem, which is the municipal finance system for local governments okay. overall. So Dave, you're working the budget now. This is the first year of the city since bankruptcy that the city has to to start making its pension payments again. I think you said it was $160 million. Where does that money going to come from this year? So the city over the last four years uh, created uh, a thing we call the Retiree Protection Fund, where mm -hmm. we've been socking money away to be ready for this moment. Okay. Um, and this year we're putting in uh, more than we had planned. We had planned to put in uh, 50 million, we're putting in an additional 20 because the pension funds missed the investment returns. So we have been setting aside and building our budget in a conservative way um, so that we're able to make that payment. This year we eliminated 154 long-term uh, vacant positions. Mm -hmm. uh, we've small in the size of government as we've continued to roll out new technology. And we're gonna continue to have to try to drive economic growth like the FCA plant and other major economic developments so revenues go up and figure out how to do more with less. We're right now in a period of, of economic uncertainty in the country, Michigan, everywhere. Uh, is Detroit prepared to weather a recession? I know there was some organization said Detroit was the least prepared city in the nation to weather a recession. So you're correct. Moody's, uh, the rating investor services mm -hmm. said we were the second worst pre uh, 
prepared city uh, in the uh, country for a mm -hmm. recession. Um, and we're continuing to try to work on that. So one of the things we did this year um, and last year is, last year we doubled the rainy day fund to about mm -hmm. 11%. We're adding an additional 20 million this year um, to try to get ourselves closer to 15%. So we have time to adjust our budget if the economy turns. The other thing is we've completely revamped the way we're doing our budget so that there's more um, transparency as to what services you're buying.